What do you do for a living, Dave? I own a Played Against Sports. Opened up about a year ago. Playing oh, against sports a year ago? I was a high school teacher. For what? A the, 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 the second hand sports place? <laughs> yeah. What? You I would have brought in a shit ton of stuff today. <laughs> hey, you want my clubs or my car? <laughs> yeah. Do you really? Cool. You making money off that? Not, well, I opened it like we opened six months ago. I, Where is it? Okay, promote it. North Attleboro. On Route, uh, Route 1 or? Route 1, you know, like Christmas Tree, Emerald Square Mall. It's down by there. It's like, like by a, that Olive Garden stuff or no? Am uh, I wrong? No. Short of that. That's on 95. Oh, yeah. okay. So, em oh, the old Emerald Square. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's um, where Dale did the signing, wasn't it? Yes. yes. Or didn't right, do yes. a signing. Yeah. Yes, it was. It was a, oh. a mile south of there. Wait a minute. Wait, hold on. This wait, is... wait, hold on. Wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. You have three kids. Yep. Okay. How old are you? 37. 37. Okay. You look really young for your age. 37. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of miles on these stage, tires. Stage five cancer. <laughs> um, uh, and you told your wife, like much like Mutt, listen, I'm, I'm out of the teaching game. You, taught, you were a high school English teacher? I was a high school special ed teacher, and then I became a high school PE teacher and, like, high school football coach. Gotcha, okay. Yep. And then you just like, I don't want to do this anymore. For five years, I was miserable. Good. Okay, and then you got out. Yep. How much is a – play it again? Is that a – you have to buy in? Yep. It's how much is that? For, oh, hold on, hold on. Dave, how much do you think it is? I know this stuff. This is, this is your life. Is this – is this a national chain play again? I always get. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is? Yeah. Okay, because I've only seen it around here. But when the hell have you been looking for in other places? I, I fucking loved play against. I understand, but like we, we, when you're in other states, are you looking for them? Well, I just never seen them? it in my life anywhere yeah. else outside of New England, basically. You're never anywhere else anyway. I'm not. Yeah, that's a good yeah. point. All Go right, ahead. I'm going to say uh, from just a franchise fee. For a buy in, right? Are you doing it yourself? It's not going to yep. be high. It's not going to be high. Let's, go, let's 20, call it 20, 25K is what I would call it. That's what I said. 50. So, like, to startup cost or yeah. the franchise fee? Franchise fee. Franchise fee is twenty five. Dave, good job. Right on. There you go. There you go. Startup cost is like four to five hundred thousand. Jesus, you had that kind of money? Nope. Uh, <laughs> Did it exist there already? And you no? Bought, okay. Started from scratch. Is this a, is a standalone or in like a it's in, strip mall? It's in the strip mall. They almost um, always are. Yeah, yeah they okay. have to be like the oh, is that right? Corporate. Yeah, there's rules you have to follow. You have I like machine. Um, <laughs> you should <laughs> 500 grand uh yeah Did you put so, your second mortgage in your house or something so during covid i bought like a foreclosure i sold that okay. and then so i haven't been paid i haven't got a paycheck in like a year but it's like what you you can't get paid you can't pull money out for the first year right um because your wife work, works i presume she does work part-time but like yeah it's uh what's going on here dude we're coming it seems very risky what Dave? uh yeah yeah i hated i hated teaching so much are well, you gonna go back to it at some point just no. just to give I, you a, just to give you a preview you'll be doing it three years from now can't do i'm the anti-mutt like i had to As, i mean he's working i'll give him that yeah. you're not the anti-mutt you're not making any money so you are mutt. Well, you're, I, you're trying to make money i plan to make money yeah i got you unlike him is there money in this is, is, what is a stupid play question um, playing against sports is like so it's like secondhand sports stuff. So I sell half the store's new stuff, half yeah. the store's used stuff. You can bring all your old used stuff there, and I'd give you either cash on the spot store or credit. store credit. Yep. Oh, okay. Um, Are people like, going in there? Yeah, it, it's been good. Not great. Like, I think I will make a living. The same living I made as a teacher, I will. this is not going to be like a luxury. How provider. many employees do you have? Uh, I'm, I started at 10. I whittled it down to about seven now. Okay. Okay. Well, go if you're in the area, go go check it out. Dave, hey, you, you get you bring the well, you can't bring the kids there, unfortunately, anymore. You have to go by yourself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow, this well, is Chase this is starting is, hockey, so maybe we will. We'll pop this in is there. a stunning I mean, yeah. revelation. Yeah, this is playing against. That's, that's a big deal for me. I can't. Uh, first of all, I I don't know. Like of all the franchises, why play it again? Yeah, like, it doesn't seem well, like I, the. Well, he was a gym teacher. I did it. I did a ton of research and different things, different franchises. I was very along the line of like a trampoline park. Did yeah. all the I, like that's so what I thought I was going to do. I almost bought into one with Ty Law. Years oh, ago, really? yeah. So, so I um, I was approved to be one of those a launch <laughs> franchisee, uh, altitude, all the different I things. I was breaking their arm though. I, I didn't yes. I didn't want to deal with that. One of the sales pitches was, oh, "There's only been one fatality at our parks." Yeah. <laughs> only one. I was like, "Oh, it's okay. not great." Uh, so I thought this is a much safer financial investment, and I love sports. Have kids. We grew up going to play it again. Yep. The one in Dedham is like the best in the country, biggest. Um, the one in Dedham, in that plaza, is the best in the country. Yes. So why would you open one like Holy five? Shit. How no, far away is that? Then? It's an hour. Oh, where are you? Uh, North Attleboro. Oh, oh, North. I'm sorry, North Attleboro. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. You see, you said Norwood earlier, right? Yeah. yeah so from yeah, there, yeah. so we yeah, like yeah. it's uh yeah. I got you. Got yeah. you. Right. Yeah. Okay. It's huh. uh yeah yeah huh. What do you think, Dave? So if I bring in like uh my old baseball mitt, that's mm -hmm. let's just call it like five years old or something yep. like that, you're giving me probably let's call it twenty five bucks probably. No, if, if you have a four hundred dollar glove, like I'll give you a, a fair thing for it. 
It's uh, it's not like not every catcher's mitt is the same or every glove, whatever. So we look at every piece. Like so, if you bring in a really, really expensive glove, we're gonna give you a pretty good. Store I'm in credit. shock. I got a Jim told me this. If you had said you bought into a franchise, I would have never in my life guessed that. No. Would you no, ever? No. no. And if he, no. you know, do you know the John or no? I know the story. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And if he were no disrespect meant, but if if. Like Mutt said, I want to open up a plate against sports instead of do the ice thing. We would have been like, you're a fucking crazy person because Facebook Marketplace is ripped apart. I think I would right? have said that's a bad move. Right. Yeah. yeah. I right. think, I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong. So the demo is actually like moms that buy the wrong thing for their kids or don't know what to get. Like you have to go try things on and see if it fits before you buy things on Amazon. Right. And then we can save you a ton of money both on new and used stuff. That makes sense because like Tricon in Lexington is a sport. Of good, it, everything's a fucking fortune there. Right. Mm-hmm. Like a for, and kids, you know, Harry grows like crazy. Yeah. But if I'm buying, is the same glove from you the same price at Dick's? I got I, the problem too, right? So I do sell a ton of the same stuff that Dix does, and I always try to be a little cheaper. That makes sense. It's I have a Dix right up the street too. Um, but yeah, you try to kill them with service. Yeah. And do you, you market? Know. Like, what's your marketing look like? So you have to pay a marketing company for the first year, which I'm still doing, which is wicked expensive, which I may not do. But like, they do Instagram, Facebook. They'll do radio and uh, billboards. They're also on TikTok, which I told them to get off of because I don't think TikTok is a great marketing thing for. No uh, question about it. First slime ball atmosphere. Idiot. Fifty year old moms with kids. Anybody, yeah. Um, Anybody. But yeah, so I'm, I'm looking to. I don't have to use that marketing company after a year, and I'm going to try to do a better job of that myself. Huh. How much do you bring in the month? If I might ask. So on, at, so I'm only going to open six months. Six months. The year one average for a store is total seven hundred fifty thousand, which is about sixty to eighty thousand a month. Right. And then you hope to get up to like one point two million in sales would be your average after that. Average gross sales in twenty twenty three was one point one eight six million. There you 1. go. Two million. There you go. He's on it. Yep. He knows his numbers. Yep. Hmm. Well, that's crazy. I mean, I respect it though. That guy's a bad guy. T from Gloucester. I hope dies in a fire with his kid. If I'm being honest, <laughs> like I'm listening to a little bit of his thing today, and he's like talking about Mick, and he's like, "Oh, Kirk." Uh, well, I hope his daughter doesn't die. She's gone through enough. But he's like, uh, you know, Kirk's telling Mick he should come back and start good for Mick's help. I never said no, that. No, you didn't. You I said didn't the opposite. Say that. I was like, I fucking hate. That's what people want. Try to make me look like a bad guy. Believe me, I can do that on my own. But I'm like, I just said, Mick, take your time. If you want to come back, great. If you don't want to come back, I don't care. Just be healthy. Be happy. But assholes like Steve, they're not going to wave their arms around. Oh, God. Oh, Putting God. salt on pizza is a sin. Shut up. <laughs> I'm doxing him at 6 o'clock tonight. Full name, first, last name, home address, uh, and all the information about his ex-wife. Wow. 6 o'clock today, live on the network, right, Dave? Sounds good. No, I'm just kidding, Steve. Yeah. Don't worry. I have to get your lawyer. <laughs> Homo. <laughs> Right, right, Justin. He's a cocksucker. That's right. Yeah, just send him to his house. Oh, he's oh, he's gonna bring his lawyer in again. I hate Steve from Gloucester. Go away. Delete your account again and leave me alone. You're a fucking loser. I don't pay. Go. We all go on the the uh, the network as much as you want, but he's a fucking arm waving loser. And by the way, he's next in line. And when this idiot runs over a family of four driving back from the Patriots game, <laughs> oh. then he'll slide. He'll slide right in. I mean, I don't, you know. Dave, Nick, my only Nick av- would not have sent me that text last night. There's my no only avi- way. Right. My only advice to you, Dave, is when you're taking these kids on these drives, don't be around Dedham at like 4.30 <laughs> on a Sunday. <laughs> anytime. Yeah. yeah. You know, if you like having a family. No. You know, that's just this guy barreling down, not even knowing what's going on. I do think that's a, ba- that's a bad decision, Justin. Nope. Like I, I, no matter your size, I understand. And you know your body, so you could obviously well, let's tell do, me let's the do. Fuck There off. must be some, there's some thing, right? There's like some. Math. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, Justin, how many beers did you have? Let's call it, let's say eight. Eight. But the big boys. Yes. How many ounces is that? So you can do 12 ounces of, of beer every hour is what your body processes. How many of the big boys? The, at an average, average weight, at like 200 pounds, call it. So How many of the bad boys? I'm looking at Big up. boys. I feel like they're called big daddies. 22 ounces, typically. I thought it was your big daddy. You are my big daddy. Oh, God. Uh, big daddy is 25 ounce. 25 ounces? Justin, gee, I just have to piss the whole time? Yeah, got up a couple times. To oh my god! Are these drafts? Yeah. So these are he's having two beers an hour. So I mean, so we had sixteen beers. Basically. Justin, <laughs> Justin, as a former bartender, <laughs> I, a guy Justin, who's you're the, crazy. Oh Forget the drug part of it. You're nuts. <laughs> Any of you girls want to work at Grill on the Hill? <laughs> <laughs> they said that Mayo couldn't go fifty and two, fifty and two, Patreon. <laughs> Holy shit! 
You pop that acne, you'll get drunk on the friggin' booze that's stuck in there, probably. Did we do the math here or no? Yep. Uh, well, you're, you're, you're biased, though. John, there's Math something. is not biased. No, but you're going to look up a number that's going to make you look good. Nope. I'm on a math calculator right now. I'm three. I'm putting in... All I, calculators are math calculators. All right, so say it out loud. What are you doing? What's the math? Uh, I'm going by what I weighed in uh, for the weight loss challenge. Well, you claim you lost a bunch of weight for that. Oh, yeah. I'm fucking fatter than I've ever been. So how much uh, do you weigh right now? 330? 360. You weigh 360? Probably, yeah. You hold that decent, honestly. I actually do think so. He does. Yeah. I, do I mean, it's... Disgu- it's, just, it's gross. It's fucking disgusting. You're 20 years old. You're 360 pounds. 360? I'm a big boy, Kirk. I don't know what to tell you. Why don't, we're going to change our ways. We're going to figure this out together. Why don't you go to a facility for like two months? We'll, we'll pay you, continue to pay you for that. Because I don't want to do that for two months. You'll let him go lose weight for two months? I'll pay him for that. I don't care. He's, it helps him. I don't, you know. That's a great offer, Justin. That's that, what I'm saying. That is, that, and I appreciate that. But I just, I can just go to the you know, your, your, you know, your method is working better. You're right. Yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. I don't, I don't mean to question your methodology. You're, you're exactly right. Go ahead. Um, By the way, are you, what, what are, we, are we building a bomb here? Why is this taking this long to I'm, figure out? I'm, I, I have blood alcohol BAC calculator right here. Am I a male or female? I'm a male. 360 pounds. Time since first drink, seven hours, 30 minutes. Uh, beer, eight. 20 ounce will, so I have to add... 25 ounces, Dave, or tw- what would you say one? He said 25 ounces. Five ounces. So just say the that's, wine. So eight of those is 200 ounces, right? right? You can't change yeah. Here. That's um, legitimately 16. So what would you do? So Dave used to, be a, used to be a bartender. Correct. So Justin, you work at Hooters. Yep. Justin shows up for kickoff. He, you serve him eight of those. Do you say something to him or no? I would, because it's my liability. So I'd say, right. hey, listen, like you've been here for six hours. You're a big dude, but... Okay, so let's, let's put in 10. Let's put in 10 here. Is that fair? That, that that equates to just beautiful minds at yes. work here. Yeah, yeah, no, because it's two hundred. So ten. You said and eight, no, right? Eight twenty-five. Keep in mind, you were talking. There are other people like there are like like rovers on Mars right now. People got that to happen. These two can't figure this out. Nope, I'm figuring it out right now. Go ahead. They're light beers, four point two percent. So I'm gonna hit calculate. Right, that's right. It's good they're light beers. Bam, BAC is around zero point zero five five. Okay. I'm Thank you, that. officer. I am heading home. Sure, right. 0. 0.05 after drinking seven, almost 17 beers. 16 yeah. and a half beers. Yeah. It doesn't add up, does it? Yes, it does add up. I, I don't know. I would say he did eat, but like over seven hours, 10 wings does not seem I'll like say, Justin, you don't eat much to... of these things. Yeah. yeah, 10 wings is way lower than I, what I thought you were going to say. Who does wings are? They're breaded, they're big. As good as Wendell's. Kirk, I'm that's going to I'm going fact. to I'm going to Wendell's today. Happy I'm birthday. A... You're going to Wendell's. Oh, fuck. I just, that's depressing. Yeah. I can't go to Wendell's on my Justin, friend. your life is depressing. I mean, what do, what do you want me like, do, what but, do you want me to say? So I'm good. I'm good. What do you mean? 0.055. I mean, I, I don't want to endorse this type of activity, clearly, mm-hmm. but I almost feel like it needs to be replicated and tested yeah, in I the could, flesh. Yeah, I could t- totally do that. I you could, breathe into the thing? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I could totally do a live stream where I sit there for seven hours. I can't do it this weekend. It's okay. Take your time. So let's, yeah, so it's okay. Not, you know, the, much like your, you might much, have a much like your worst third chair draft thing in PE. <laughs> Things take time. Exactly. Yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll get there eventually. Um, yeah. So maybe I can, maybe I can, uh, no, not Saturday. Can't do it next weekend because that's Socko. That's true. Oh, if you're not drunk, why can't you do it at Socko? Yeah. You would. Not a good idea. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> hey, Kirk. <laughs> no, I, you, were, you didn't feel buzzed at all? Oh, no, I felt buzzed. I, I was having a good time. I feel like by that logic, Mike. You're buzzed. You shouldn't be driving yeah. then, Justin. I would say, I would say five. Would be the number. But if you feel, bu- forget it. If you just yeah. feel buzzed, you shouldn't be driving. Don't you think? Like Correct. intellectually? I, yeah, but like I was there for seven hours. I felt I, we, different I, three hours in before. And then right. When you left. When I left, I felt fine. Okay. okay. Did you ever, did it cross your mind? Like, I'm going to be here for seven hours. I'm just going to have the normal 16 ounce beer rather than the 25s. Why would I do that? Because <laughs> you're going to be there for seven hours drinking. So what's it? So if I drink 200 ounces and 16 ounce beers compared to 25, that's well, just... Just economics. If, if you're gonna have six beers, it would be you know 96 ounces compared to 150. But I want to drink the beer. All right. That's if I if I if I I don't want to get preachy. I, yeah, I really you know. people drink whatever they want, but do you need to drink that much? But you I'm, know what I'm not saying? shit faced. I'm, I'm not even talking about that. I'm not even talking about that. I'm just saying, can't you just have like three beers or four beers? Over the course of seven hours, for a guy like me, I re- I really wouldn't. Like but, an he, alcoholic? but he, but he, but he wants to get. I'm not an alcoholic. But he but wants to get the buzz. Like that's, that's the whole the, point. Of, yeah, I'm not yeah. drinking for the he taste. He wants to get the I'm buzz. To have a buzz not, on watching the Just pig? have a shot then or something. I don't know. Get the buzz quicker. 
Because well, I, I enjoy smaller. drinking beer. I can. You said you don't. You said you like that. getting buzzed. Yes, but I'm not like I'm not an alcohol. I'm not trying to like get. You're there not an alcoholic. Is that what you said? No, he likes no, drinking beer to get the buzz. He likes you just like drinking beer. beer to get the buzz. I do like. But it. you can stop. Of course, I've gone months without drinking before. Right. What I'd, I'd like Mott to address not getting back to Justin for oh, days. Oh, yeah, that is interesting. For Mott is a days. weird text response. It was totally on me. So I, I forgot he texted nobody's Friday. Doubt, nobody's disputing that. And the, our family has been going through the... It's actually back Justin's to, fault. You're not going to believe yeah. it. <laughs> uh, you can probably hear a little bit today. Back to school illness through our family. Uh, so, that's why his family... Everyone's always sick. It's I, I apologize. It's right back to... They get sick. It's well, the, if, the somebody, first if, if somebody's week. a little sick around you, you're the biggest... Baby brother of the world. I totally agree. So he's running here sick home. again. Mike's sick. He no, I, I feel probably. better today. If I if I felt better, I would have told Justin no. But we're we're good. I'm Justin. I so because you were time. sick, you couldn't text. I was you hoping couldn't. I was. I there was a really good chance my son was not going to go to school, and I had no. Why don't just text that to him. Because he's not my. I'm not. He doesn't deserve that. We want to know. He's that. not <laughs> a podcast. He doesn't deserve. He's not that. my fucking boss. No, but it's common courtesy. I'm no, not saying. Not, I don't. I, that's not common courtesy. Justin. I don't want to tell Justin or Dave anything anymore. Because there's. It's, they, it's all coming back to you. Uh, it's, oh, yeah, he it's came over. in. He it's came over. in fiery. He was mad at it's them. Over. He blamed it's me over. for that. Over. 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 It's, it's, it's not over. It's not over. Guys, as Dino would say, one at a time. Okay. It's over. First of all, what is what is it? What would you? What did you guys ever have? What did I miss? You say it's over. What are you talking about? Dave was very supportive for a couple months. There. Dave was a very good help. With I'm still supportive, Man, you I'm dummy. Really, you're you're such a dick. Fucking show sucks. You're such a dick. What do you want? Let's do it. The fucking <laughs> show <laughs> sucked. <laughs> like, what do you? What, what do you? What is wrong with Will you? You bailed out for a half hour. Got much better in the second half of the show. <laughs> no, it didn't. I watched some of it. I I, I thought it. And got by better. the way, I watched it back. I thought it's it like got Brady. a lot better. And by the way, the bummer <laughs> saying that like everyone oh, giving the bummer credit for this for this win for like he picked them to win the game outright. He did a minus one oh eight bet. Congratulations. Bummer. Like, no, what's up, bomber? Okay. <laughs> okay. He gave you a 28 point dog. Yeah, good And pick. most most people, when they hear that, okay, by the way, first of all, he's not a tout. He's there to educate oh, and help people. Tout? Most people hear they that, they go, oh, parlays? I'll put a couple, I'll put a couple bucks on the Is he a parlay guy or no? I thought he didn't bet the first couple weeks of the season anyway. Again, but that's his. That's why I love the guy because he's so Doesn't brutally like honest. A terrible. Like, thing no, because you, <laughs> for week, a week one. Wait, <laughs> before before we do that, you're a tout. What was your favorite Jalen Hurts rushing touchdown? Was it his oh, first I'm one sorry, or his second one? I, I, know, was, I thought they were going to get it right at the end of the game. some of that scratch too if I won. I, I thought they were going to get it right at the end of the game. Yeah. They did they fumbled no. that snap? Another no. misfeed. Another dead so, ticket. I know. Yeah. And in the pros. I think you need two or three weeks to really gauge what's going to happen. <laughs> well, then what the fuck are we Again, doing here? <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> what, what he was saying was don't don't overbet in the first week because he's right. You know the least about the league mm-hmm. in the first couple of weeks. Once you have some data points to but put maybe, into but, your. But couldn't I could counter to the to the bomber if I ever get a chance to talk to him? Maybe the gamblers also know the least at week one, so you might be able to take advantage of that. But you're not. You're the people setting the odds. I'm saying might they also know less. Uh, but I, I would rather more a fair question? I'd rather have more information than less information. Right. Uh, yeah, a bigger sample size. Yeah, because so were, why not just at that point? Why for don't you example, just, if you're why just all do us a favor then? Put the curtains down and say we'll be back at week four. Because we all, it wasn't his point. I we have it. some information. Yeah. We I all know it. something. And then check in again. If he says no, we say hey, that, that wasn't his point. You are oversimplifying or uh, it wasn't that. Com- it wasn't that. Com- it wasn't that convoluted. It was. He was being very smart about it. Don't not bet over your head the first week of the year. He is a sharp. He is. A I thought sharp. you said he wasn't a sharp. You just said I'm not a sharp. He's, He's not a, a tout. Not a tout. tout. He's not a tout. Not out there touting picks or selling picks. But aren't you a sharp though? I'm not. I'm definitely mm. not. Mm. No. I'm definitely New not. York Jets at San Francisco 49ers. What are the sharps betting on? That's true. All oh, my friends by, are sharp hunting. By yes. Mike Manansky. I'm now. You, on wrote, the, uh, you wrote. You wrote this story. I so, am. I'm now working. So you for are a sharp guys. then? No, I say. I say pretty clearly. He's I'm not. You're speaking for the sharps. I'm analyzing the sharps. This is a company that that. Is an advertiser on mudstack.com. Sharp Hunter is, yes. Which you have not said that you write for them in any of the mudstack things. Well, they started last week. That should be, you should let that. You oh. should, there's a, there's a, what's the word I'm looking for, Dave? There's, journal, there's journalistic integrity that. Yeah, and this be, is gambling yeah. we're talking about. You better be careful. Is what's all I'm the, what's, what's the, okay, right. I, I will put you make it. You've made a deal with them. You're going to, you know, you obviously, so Wasn't they, don't, clear. they don't pay you. So whatever they click, whatever you click on, like that seven day free trial sham that they no, have. No, there's, there is no, I, people can sign up for it. I get, it, there's part no of the, benefit for me. There's no click through for me. Part of the deal is you have to write for them as well as a trade off. No, my deal with them is I'm a partner in their writing and they advertise in the newsletter. Nice. Because I, th- I think what they have is a very, very good app. That is what, what if I, as a gambler, I spent, that's I spent what I want to see. I that's spent what some I Kirkman see. and Case investigation on this place last night. <laughs> oh, man. On the Sharp fe- Hunter? The feds are going to rent. What's the name of the place that Sharp Hunter actually, what's the name of the company? They're located on Newbury Street in Boston. The FBI is going to raid this place this week is my prediction. Okay. True, I'm just like, I'm just letting, false. I'm just letting you know. I would, 
I would, huge breaking news. Thank Great you. guys. I would, Great guys at Sharp Hunter. They have two employees. They have a lot of employees. It's a, Three it's, now. Their LinkedIn said they have two employees. Okay. Whoa, what I'm, do you want I'm, me to say? Okay, I've not checked their public LinkedIn. Sorry. Well, I did. Okay. I'm trying to help you out here. I'm trying to get, put you in a good spot. I appreciate Hold your help, on. as is always. Is there any chance that the two employees are in that room? <laughs> <laughs> it's very well. <laughs> they, they look sharp to you. Those but two? they're not paying you anything. Well, I have a deal with them. What do you mean they're not paying me anything? They, I, uh, well, what I mean by that is they're not paying okay, you anything. There is an agreement where I'm getting paid by them. Yes. In what? In... <sighs> Experience. It's at, I'm, I'm getting paid Another by Another job you took instead of blogging for Barstool. Very weird. Gotcha. Okay. What Next. Just, uh, okay. Yep. Okay. What is Get the it. explanation? Have we gotten one? <laughs> no, we never have. He's still not. Like, what, like I appreciate everybody still likes the boss. This? Got it. Okay. I appreciate. Well, we haven't, you haven't been here since you did the show the other night. The Everyone likes the bomber. We get that. Like, in what ways has the bomber been so loyal to you over the last 15 years? Like, well, they, they could have easily moved on from me. When I got when I got dismissed from EEI, I got fired there. It was two years ago, yeah. They could have easily moved on from that and have gotten somebody else with a bigger name. They stuck by me. We've done a, added events uh, that I could be a part of. Like what? Like you've done like four events we last just, We did Saratoga Appreciation Week uh, last <laughs> summer. Okay, yeah. Uh, again, you can laugh, but... It's a as, funny as, title. As that's who, it's a <laughs> funny title. With someone who was unemployed <laughs> and self-employed, they were a huge help to me yeah. for the last you know, 15, 14 uh, years, 15 I, years. I don't have a problem with that, but doesn't you the bomber last know... 15 years, but yeah. Does it, like, the bomber is, bomber, is the bomber aware of this right? job offer? Yeah, we've talked about it, yes. What's the conversation like? Good he laughs at it. He just laughs and says, "You're walking to opt out." I said, "I'm I'm good." He laughs at the barstool offer. No, he thinks it. You just he, said he laughed at it. He likes the reaction to it, like that he's somehow holding me hostage. Oh. We laugh at that together. You laugh at it together? <laughs> yes, we laugh. Yeah. We laugh. Okay. Your so, you laugh sounds much sadder than his. <laughs> I've heard your laugh. I've heard Whoa. your. Fa- <laughs> I heard your fake laugh the other day. I know exactly what it sounds. Here like. we go. <laughs> Woo! You got to clap. The there were some real Martin Maloney moments the other night from you. You seemed there, you there seemed were. I was very nervous. nervous. I was nervous about. I told those guys in the after show. Yeah. I was nervous about the tech part. Of and it. these guys, Dave, told you that your face good show, but they yeah. came in here and said it sucked. Right, Dave? That's yes. Dave, though. Yes. Okay. That's been Dave yeah. since the beginning. So what are you mad at them for now? He's a snake. That was honest. But so you're not mad at them then. I just don't, I, I don't, I don't, he's not, I'm not going to tell Justin what's going on in my family life. No, not even that. I, I, you're right. But I'm just saying like, hey, uh, you know, no, they were great to come down there. But also if I text them anything now, it's going back to you. So I got to, there's, you got to be careful there. I'm not, well, sure. I understand how it works. That was always the case, wasn't it? I, I didn't think so. Maybe it was. What, well, what have you texted them that's come on? Well, the David, I've texted stuff about media stuff. I, I know it's yeah, going to be mean, back to but you. But careful in what way. You said your son was sick. It's yeah, not like Justin's going to ensure he dies. I wanted to make fun of it. <laughs> <laughs> because I wanted, I wanted to come in and I felt bad that I couldn't. So like, I, I couldn't just, make it work. Just say you couldn't make it work. That I, exactly what I said. I said, I'm sorry. I, so I'm trying to wait until later in the day on Sunday. And I apologize for that. Okay. Can, can you admit <clears throat> that the show stunk on Thursday? Uh, I don't think it stunk. It can be better. It can be better. I can be. It was my fault. It was, if it wasn't good, it was all my fault. I was not as focused. Did Sanders buy been. a meal for somebody? He did not because I think wow. we talked. Uh, no, 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 Mike, that's, that's big. Bad. Again, that's big. So it, again, totally my fault. Everyone, we took. Oh, your fault that Sanders didn't buy a meal for somebody? Yes, because so we said that on the air. Took mm-hmm. a group picture. Tim Riggles yelled a bunch of expletives, <laughs> and those guys legit just sprinted out to go drink somewhere or go do something. The Be a man guy was thrilled they showed up. How many of those fans were, were fans of the show versus fans of? Your show. I would say ninety percent of the fans there were watching. Were so fans. nine. Mm. Easily ninety percent. <laughs> Easily nine. nine. How about 90%? on? How about on social? How about like on the YouTube watching it? Would you say what percentage? Uh, you tell me. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think, Justin? If you had to guess, probably like ninety-five. Great. It was a gr- good response. Good yeah. Response. Good. No, I'm happy for you. Yes. Yeah. And I thank the Minna fans and thank you guys for promoting it. And Dave and, and uh, Justin B, that was great. But here's the, here's the odd thing to me about Mutt is like the video Indeed. I saw of them recording him after the show. He's like, oh, do you think Shander was fucking obsessed with the channel? He makes a joke about it, right? Away. Right. So he knows yes. that. I said then, it, I but said then it like he'll the stop show. saying it. I said, I said it on the show. <laughs> I'm offering you a mulligan Jets right up. now. You can get Shander out and pick somebody else you want in. What do you say? <sighs> who else? Who, who, who are we offering from? I don't know. Montante. Ooh. Yes, Mike Montante. Yeah. Uh, he can't, but he can't run the show. He can't. No. Yes, no. You get somebody who can. You he get a producer. You it, get no, a producer. No, you get a real producer who could do it. Mike, you didn't know when your mics were on the other night. Montante could pull that off. No, I think he, he got duped. But I don't think he was used to people the amount attention. of people in the chat. I mean, there yeah. it was. It was very. I, funny. I, I can't see it, but it he he said it was pretty good. And as my as I've seen from my kids watching YouTube's, 
they like to do this thing in the YouTube chat saying the audio doesn't work. Right. It's in yeah, Spanish. Yeah, yes, sure. And so he, 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 he fell, fell for it. It's always good. He fell for it. <laughs> and he did fall for it. He did fall for it. And that's the big thing here, yeah. which is you can make fun of me. You can say whatever you want. The chat is is already. And look, we appreciate everybody here as active. What are you laughing at? Pause. What are you laughing at? It's a nervous laughter. I don't know. There's no defense. It's a weird habit. Here. There's no defense. It's a nervous the clapping laughter. Clapping and the laughter is a nervous thing. The clapping is let's get some energy going. <laughs> that work? Let's go. The energy I, going. Like, I didn't know I was fucking on the air then. Like, the that's, energy going. That's, that's what's actually weirder that you didn't know you were on the air. <laughs> I didn't know how the stream. I, I've well, done the crowd, that. Mike. He's going to get the crowd going. Like fucking LeBron James yeah. warming up yeah. or something. Like, all right. crowd in the house. <laughs> I'll throw Aton under the bus. I thought he was going to mute my mic until we started. He did not. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got that as well, right? And then your mic at the end is good. <laughs> it's a home run. Well, get by the internet bar. Well, I think it's a Thursday. We'll be participating in the show, you said? Uh, if there are some gamblers that want to be there and come on the air and can okay. behave themselves. I think we haven't good taken on hand to good. Yeah. I think Shanders hates Mutt. Clearly. Totally. totally. I, I think so, too. Totally. I think so. <laughs> right? Totally. totally. I think he's not thrilled at the response on yeah. He doesn't like, he doesn't even hate, he hates that, like, Mutt, Mutt has brings done this in this too. crowd. Yeah, exactly. I, you yeah. and I are, are a fake relationship. Well, you had to sign a contract to be my friend for 10 months. 10 yeah. months? Who knows? Maybe there's been an extension. Do you work for him? Does it come out of his cut? Because he says the cut. What is that? It's a. Uh, I'm not going to get into specifics of the deal. I'm not. I can't. I, I can't. I can't. But he Mutt, pays. Mutt, like, Mutt, this is not. I can't. It's. Uh, it's not. Mutt, this is not. Uh, it's a. I could. I give you details of my contract. No, I get paid through want. Mohegan. But they. They. The, but what is that? Odd mean? Shopper hosts the show. So he's. So you work for Shanders. No, I don't. It's. If it's Shand Aton, by the way. If Shanders. If, if is that his last name? Shander. Shander. You're saying Shander's Shander. like, I think uh, Deion Sanders' son. Is that Shander? I don't even know that. That's right. I meant that as his last name. I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. Aton. Go ahead. So if Aton got up today and was like, hey, I actually have my partner, Jimmy, coming in. I want Mud out. Can, does he have the power to do no, that? No. No, does not have that power. Hmm. Then what is the his cut thing? Yeah, what does that well, mean? Odd Shopper is hosting the show, so they're getting paid to host the show. I don't, I don't know what his cut is. I don't so know your money comes is. out of that cut? Yeah. So you are working for Odd Shopper then? No, oh, the... Right, Dave. Well, I don't, uh, like, so, was so, hired by Mohegan to okay. host the show. So, like I, when I when I worked here, I was paid by Barstool Sports, who right. like Sorry. you know, Eric came out of my checks, came out of my money. But technically, and you, you came out of your money, and you could fire me if you correct. Wanted to. That's right. Yeah, Mohegan could so do that's, the same. They, make, they could say, "Can Odd Shopper fire you?" I don't think so. But <laughs> Mohegan could. Mohegan could say, "We don't replace Mutt," and I'd be. You said six months playing together. You don't know the answer to that question. Uh, who can fire you? Who can't? I think Mohegan can. Somebody should be fired. <laughs> <laughs> This is great, brother. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I don't think he likes you either. I no, agree. I, I, I don't think you like guys, him. Guys, I'm so. agreeing with you guys. Yeah. We talked on Saturday, and there was definitely some tension on the phone. Really? Yes. Here we go. What was going on? I just, I think he's trying to have fun with it, but also annoyed that I'm bringing him this, this, this it's world. It's an audience. Well, what? then it would be no one. Like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it'd be a dick, want? but there'd be four people watching. Well, Odd Shopper's got a very good audience. It's got a big crowd. You know what I mean, though. Like, it, it may yes. build without yes. us, but I'm just yes. saying it's a... I helps. totally agree. I, but I get the same vibe you guys get. I, I think Mike's right. I think he's, he's a dick. annoyed by my presence. I think that's... So I did much, think... Uh, it's, it's almost he's, like happier, he's happier doing his own videos. <laughs> so now you, you're, what you're saying is basically you have an opportunity to step aside and then take a real job at Barstool. You still won't do it. Because <laughs> I, 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 I would leave Bomber Brad by himself. But I don't think Bomber wants that. The Bomber so, Brad Bryant... Yes. Bomber. What's that, Justin? So yes. the Bomber Brad Bryant by has the you by he the balls. He does not stink. He so for the rest of your life, you cannot take a full-time job because and, he, and when he hears bomber, you a full time job, he laughs. Justin, no, Justin I, I would not. <laughs> they laugh together. I would not take a full time job when I've already agreed to something else. But you're, but if you're agreeing to things like six months in advance. There's never going to be. I haven't agreed. I, I agree. There on the on the on the Mohegan Sun side. When when I said it took it took a long time to put the deal together, and it was agreed upon six months ago. I have not agreed to anything past November seventh. Is my point? Okay, I have nothing in agreement after Thursday, November seventh. Okay. That makes sense. And I have not been approached about anything after November 7th. All right. Okay. So, okay. There you go. Fine. Hello. Oh. It's, it's me, Chris Clark. What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> I, I have, I, why, I, are you, why are you bothering me? What do you want? That sounds like he would do a I know. Chris Clemmer impression on the phone. Clemmer Hello, thinks, it's me. It's Chris Clemmer. I know Clemmer just thinks he's a big star. Now all of a sudden he's like, he's like booking no. times to come on the show. He's like, you know, the first guest on the Tonight Show. <laughs> Go what ahead. are you what? No, that is not true. No, I, I have, I have what would that sound like, Chris? Mutt. Yo, Clemmer is so I, down on you, Mike. Well, get so in Jeff Lowe and Clemmer and all you guys bad me behind my back. I get it. I, I hear no, it's not. No, we just, no, we like you, Mike. We're doing it to your face. Behind your back. That's true. Well, Jeff's Justin's not. become the obvious joke guy. I like it. Go ahead. 
Hi, Chris. No, I, I, I like Mutt. I, I want him to work here. I don't understand. Here. Mutt, you said, you said that Brad offered you an opt-out. No, we, we sort of joked like you, you want out of your non-existent, you know, quote-unquote contract. We, so, I, I wouldn't so the do contract's that. not even real. <laughs> What's an, it's quote an unquote. agreement. It's a, I, and sign it in blood. If you, I, you didn't sign it in I could walk pen. away and fuck them. Yes, I could do that. I, I, no I could, one, no I could one, walk no away one. and screw them over. Yes, no I could definitely ever do that. My, All the money they put into promotion and uh, the time and effort the and 40, equipment. Dave, they, go ahead. Go ahead, no, Dave. Go ahead. I'm not. I can't Dave, do it. Dave, 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 you're Dave, Dave, you're going to do it, Dave. Come on, Dave. Let's do it. All the money they put into fucking promotion. You came crawling back to the show, Dave. Let's go. They said that one tweet, Dave. And they wrote a fucking press release, Mutt. Yep, that's what they do. There's no promotion. There's none. You got no promotion from Kirk Minahan. Yep, and that's why I'm here, Dave. Who was there? Yeah, that's that, who was listening. Yes, and I said, you I said did thank the you promotion. to them. You yes, did it. I'm their promotion but, part yes. of it. Yes, no shit, Sherlock. So tell them to pound fucking I'm sand and promote yourself. yourself. <laughs> I'm Barstow still here. Sports. I'm still here. God damn it. Promotion. God, his face is getting Fuck, all red. Dave spent 20 you cents on promotion. His face is getting all red. You didn't spend 20, you spend 20 <laughs> cents on promotion, Mohegan, on this. Not 20 cents. I didn't? What do you mean? They didn't. You said promotion. Money. You said the clever. Yes, they spent money on... Exactly. Emotional exactly. Clemmer, what were you gonna say? I, I, it was that, and then like I just if, <laughs> if Dave, if, if, if I'm I'm just in shock. If Dave offer, so you're you're there until November what day? Like seventh, the eighth right? or something? Is that what you said? The last show is November seventh, Chris. Yes. All right. So don't get don't get mad at me, man. Uh, no. Chris, we all know. Chris, I, 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 Chris, you know why I'm mad at you? The Monkey Boy product's not out yet. I want the Monkey Boy Shut documentary. Up, I want to write about we're, that. We're working on that. I, I, I told you. I literally texted you. Why? I know. So November, I know. I'm excited. No, November eighth. You're in theory a free agent. If Dave offered you a contract, then you would come here. You would come to our school, right? I imagine. I don't know what the no, he wouldn't. looks like. He wouldn't, no he wouldn't tell us why. I've, I've told about. everyone. I mean, I've talked about this. I'm the only one who's not mad at him anymore. Have you noticed that, by the way? It doesn't yeah, really bother definitely, me. Definitely, definitely not. Well, <laughs> the show stinks. But I'm, I'm saying, not. but if I said, you know, I said yesterday, uh, Clummer, you know, uh, yeah, you, heard, no, you yeah. said you wouldn't, it wouldn't, it wouldn't happen anyway because he would call, you'd call Kirk. Kirk would say, I don't want Mutt to work here. I would advise no, that. That's, that's, that's not what I said. I said it was up to me. This is the show, said. No. And say, I don't want you to work here. I would just say it's not a great move by Dave at this point. Yeah, I totally understand that. Is what it is. I'd be happy but for you if you got say, the job. Let's say, he, let's say he went above Kurt's head and offered you a job. You would take that job. You would, it's a full-time job, right? Yes, Chris. I, there's, there are family considerations, but abs- why, who wouldn't want to do that? What are the you? What are the family considerations? I can't do this See you in Chicago. What are the what are the Good family rat race? What are the family <laughs> considerations? Like you would? Well, just, I, you liked, I couldn't move. To, I would not move to take. We've the job. been over this. You wouldn't not move. Happy. Nobody's saying you would. Move. We'll fi- I guess we'll, I, we're never going to find out. The job offer is not there. It's all hypothetical. It's a pretend content move for your he show. He offered you a job. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. You think Dave Porter? But it was wasn't doing, Mike, a week ago. But he did it because Mike. I'm sorry. One second. One second. One second. I think Dave Portnoy is doing pretend content stuff for the Kirk Minahan no, show. No, you but I, fuck it's, about us. I, you're right. That's fair. That's fair. But I, it's still hypothetical in, in nature. He offered you a job last week. That's he not did. hypothetical. Well, I, I couldn't. He offered me a job, but I couldn't take the job. Okay, but it wasn't hypothetical. But you could have. But it was. It was not really detailed what I would do. I mean, it was. It was like you hey, come in once a week, and every once in a while you go do horse racing stuff, and you could blog about gambling. He didn't tell Clemmer what he could do. Yeah, that, I think he didn't that's, tell anybody that's what one of your like. He didn't tell me what to do. Okay, it was pretty obvious what you were going to do. Okay. I mean, were you going to pretend like you're going to do the Chris Minahan show? Was I going to do, 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 do trivia? Was I going to do the case? Was I going to do surviving? Was I going to do mini well, golf? The, was base, like, the base of it was you would do saying, your show. But, then you, but, then, but then you become a personality. Like, I'm a much bigger personality within the company than I was when I first got Hell here. yes. yes. That's, but, but that's because I grew. The show grew. I did other stuff. I did this. I did that. If I said to Dave, I called Dave today and said, hey, Dave, I want to do this for a show. It's like, great. Why are you bothering me? Go do it. Like the, You're expecting. You You have your arms out. You're waiting, 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 waiting for a hug. You just got to fucking go at this company. Sprint. Take it. Gotcha. You can do whatever the fuck you want. Great. Well, forget. I mean, I, but I can't write. I can't write. Forget I'm, not, I, I'm, I'm trying not to be that, but I'm saying I can't write right now. It's not possible. I'm not, I agree. That's But I'm saying after that. You don't think, you don't you think right that the Barstool that. blog would want to publish a content like you wrote over there on Fantasy or whatever that website dreadful, is? dreadful, but yeah, sure. Yeah, they would I like think, that stuff. I think it was dreadful. That was okay. And then... <laughs> <laughs> like you could also be kind of a media guy. Like you could have written about Brady yesterday or shit like that that you're interested in that other people aren't really doing. Yeah, I like writing about that stuff. That's what I mean. Let's stack.com. Some people have said, um, mustack.com, go. go subscribe. Here we go. Some people said. Critics have said on my uh, I saw Mike. I'm gonna fan some people on Twitter. Two things for real. 
All kidding aside, do you owe any money to Mohegan Sun? All kidding aside. Again, I don't want to talk about it on the uh, show. No bits. Do you actually owe? No. I don't owe any money. Oh, okay. And I saw people say um, that. I'm not getting divorced either. At least as of now. That's okay. another one I've seen quite a bit of. Okay. I, I don't know if that's true or not. But I'm not. That your lovely wife, who I haven't seen in many years, um, she is blocking you from working with me because I am such a divisive force in your life. No. One of the great strengths of my wife is that she's no presence whatsoever on social media. Doesn't know any of that stuff. So right. no, 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 no. Okay. So you're, no. you're denying both those claims. Deni- and I'm denying that I, I said I was going to wear a suit to the show and hit it in my car because Bomber was wearing a... Nobody said you were hiding in your car. Jersey. Nobody was saying you were hiding in <laughs> Woodward and I, Bernstein over here. I said I know you well enough. <laughs> and I wouldn't be surprised if you had a suit in the back like hung up and then you saw everyone else was casual and you're like, I'm not wearing a suit. I had three Three polo shirts. Two of them were black. I wasn't going to go with the background. I wore the red one. I will be more dressed up for Thursday. That show. was a seventh grade picture outfit. The my my under- nice Under Armour shirt? Yeah, it looked nice, but it looked like a little seventh grader going for his school picture. That's how I fucking day. normally dress. Okay? I agree. I, I what are you very, so def- I'm a preppy dresser. I, I, so I am I. I don't you so, why you so defensive. I'm very defensive. No one's been critical of this. No, no one. <laughs> so defensive Jesus Dave you okay I don't think I agree with you on the you just said something like it's not a good hire for Dave now I don't think there's a difference between now I'm just doing, and I'm just doing the, the yeah I'm just oh, trying I just oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. it's fine whatever it's yeah. not a good I was never a good hire but who cares like I said right it's not yeah. gonna support it so, so nobody supports you more than me in the world you can talk about the bomber you're throwing you 200 bucks to go to a fucking roast beef dinner at the uh, travelers appreciation week but nobody's been more supportive of you than me in this business nobody is the travelers appreciation thing available uh, we'll find out <laughs> When's your big Pennsylvania weekend? Uh, next weekend. Wow. Soco, yeah. Oh, Soco, Soco weekend. Right, yeah. Of course, yeah. Sure. You have like really low self-esteem or something. <laughs> like, are you like, you just have no faith in yourself? You have no... He does struggle with that. I mean, you, you heard... something. Do you, know what, do you know what a hair lip is now, by the way? Oh, that was unbelievable. Oh, I yeah, still, wow. I, I just thought a little mustache was called a hair lip. Turns out... So you think like a red I have a hair lip? No. No, that's too much. <laughs> yeah. You have to have a little hair in your lip. <laughs> yeah. I was so mad at my... I didn't even understand what you were saying. I would love to act that out, <laughs> the polar script, uh, at some point. But yeah, you have self-esteem issues. You said that. Uh, yeah, you grew up in an Italian household. I thought that, and a lot of us Italians deal with that. Is that true? Yes. Oh, yeah, I think, yes. Okay. I think. So, I so it probably just comes down to you want to work in an environment where you're told. Is it a household if it doesn't I, have a, I, a roof? Yeah, I mean, I, there's, there's some of that. Yeah, Absolutely. that's fair. There's some okay. of that. Fair. Uh, praying before the soon-to-be-destroyed Twin Towers. Others had some more dreams and premonitions. I'm not a mystic, but I've seen too much in a long and adventurous life to believe only in coincidence. Yeah. Mama K saw this mm-hmm. and said, can personally attest to this as well. <laughs> I flew Personally that, attest to it. Okay. Yeah. I flew that morning, and for weeks I had intense premonitions of something hap- something terrible happening. Hold that on. Day. So w- she had premonitions leading up to it? Yeah. Yes. So why would you fly that day? Eh. Well, yeah. It was probably just a weird Throw it feeling. to the wind, huh? Yeah. yeah. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Something terrible happened that day. I told everyone I knew. Till this day, they asked me how I knew. It's when I discovered that... They're in- asking her this all the time? <laughs> told, every, told everyone you knew, I'm going to crash in a fucking... Hey, guys, you got to see this. I'm going to... Why did they fucking arrest her, too? If she's t- I mean, it sounds like she knew about it. She trained Muhammad Ali. Also, like, why did she stop it? <laughs> Walking through the airport? Yeah, like, it's probably a bad idea, right? <laughs> <laughs> Something terrible is going to happen? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. It's when I discovered that intuition wasn't just some theoretical thing. Where has it been for these other things? Other plane crashes and school shootings. No, it was just that one. Other tra- it was just that for that specific one. Yeah, well, that's the biggest one. Oh. Yeah, that's, yeah that's, so that, reaches is, more that is the, that is the big one. I would agree with that. <laughs> yeah. Where was it for Plymouth? Hmm? Where was it for Plymouth? That's what I said. Yeah, yeah exactly. Fair. Yeah. Fair. Yeah. Jesus. So, yeah, she took a beating, huh? Yes. Yeah, I mean, that is a wild tweet. <laughs> so <laughs> then... Around a month or so before. She went so on with before. Kane last night. Oh, good. No, she, well, she's doing the circuit now. Yeah. I was going to say, it is, like, it is like in the moments of like, like in the old days, you go on Larry King or something happened right. that day. Yeah, yeah. Now you go to Kane. <laughs> One of the great journalists of all time. Larry Kane. <laughs> How about just putting those two on there? I have a premonition that this is going to be awful. Just for weeks, I was walking around thinking a Kane Mama K show is going to be terrible. Oh, my God. How did you call, do that? Call it intuition. I don't know. Go ahead. So then... Around a month or so before it started to really, I started to just having, I just Let kept coming phone calls up. I've had with people sounding like this, like for case stuff over the, <laughs> over the years, you're like, oh, this isn't the, they actually don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> I could feel it in my bones. <laughs> Including one very recent day where I tried to get some information out of who you were right about. Yes. Yeah. Very upset. Did she reach out to you? Yes. Very Not upset. thrilled. Not what, thrilled. Did we do anything wrong? Did we? Um, on the podcast we may have, but. Wrong? Not wrong, wrong, but maybe mean. Is mean fair? 
I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Who knows? Go ahead. Hitting me in the back of my mind. So I said, I better start. Ow. Is that I my just Muhammad Atta? Ow. Is that a box cutter? What the fuck? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Jesus Christ. God, this guy. Oh, there's another one coming. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. This guy was talking the other day, so he just went to this flight train. He just wanted to learn how to just like not take off or land, just to fly a plane. Like, you know, I don't know. It's weird. Call intuition. It seems strange to me. Jesus. Because God forbid something happens. And I say, or some, and I say, Doctor, or, I have two splitting pains in the back of my head, and one in Washington D.C. <laughs> <laughs> I, no one knew that I was having this, or I say after the fact, I knew something was going to happen. I've also had conversations like this in my life, and then the group is over, and I have to go back to my padded room, <laughs> <laughs> and they check in on me every five minutes while I'm sleeping. Sure, this. that has happened. That has happened to me as well. And you say, oh. Premonitions, huh? Sure. <laughs> sure. Why not do something about it? She told everyone she knows. Did Kane the journalist say, why didn't you contact the authorities? He did not. That's bad he didn't journalism. didn't ask that? You know what? Three down. My first down is Kane. As a journalist, you have to ask the tough questions. He tried his best. I mean, Kane, you know. The only tragedy is Kane wasn't one of those planes. Well. You know? I'm saying because he would have been like Mark Wahlberg. You would have taken those guys down. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I'm in the shower. My husband was taking the trash out. It was trash day that day. He wanted to get it out before we left for the What's airport. The point? The trash out, not trash <laughs> Just taking it out three days before trash day. Wait a minute, what? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> She's describing the uh, morning of Tuesday, September. I thought she flew that day. No, but this is the morning. This is like five o'clock in the morning. Oh, my dad, beforehand. by the way, flew that day. That motherfucker didn't know shit. <laughs> I can tell you that right now. Ryan and Ann would confirm. He knew nothing. He flew. He worked in Maryland at the time. So he would fly uh, either on you know, Mondays or Tuesdays, whatever. You know. So um, he flew that morning, his usual flight from Boston to, uh, uh, to Maryland. Same time, same morning. He showered. I, we didn't have, we had a, in Winchester, we have a dump. We have a, um, what they call it now, a transfer station, I think. So it was not, tr we never had trash day. Oh. Just to give everyone, my dad would definitely, he would shower and shave every day. So he also showered that morning. Wow. As did I, probably. In the, I was in the western part of the United States. But I showered that day. Okay. My roommate did not take out the trash that day. I don't think. Go ahead. It was trash day that day. He wanted to get it out before we left for the airport. And he comes in. Like, this is going to matter. <laughs> uh, <laughs> might as well. Port. <laughs> And he comes he in. He goes over to me. He's like, you know what's a, you know what's a pretty cool little town I've ever heard of before yet? Shanksville, Pennsylvania. <laughs> <laughs> I think we might be landing Let's there. Let's go check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Mama Kay's mother is always at the live shows? Is she there? It's not her mother. <laughs> what? She called her. She called her. Oh, it was like a, it was like a Polly Walnuts that's thing. A, that's a peer of hers. A peer. Yes. Oh my God, Yard is. I think her mother was one of you know, it was like Orville Wright's sister. <laughs> Jesus, go ahead. Before we left for the airport, and he comes in and he goes, "I really didn't give you any like credence to your thing." He goes, "But I just found a dead peregrine falcon in our yard." Oh totally God. intact, no <laughs> marks on it, nothing, just dead. It's, its last words were, building seven. <laughs> nothing, just dead. <laughs> Is it safe to come back out now? <laughs> Someone didn't want that bird to talk. <laughs> Just dead. <laughs> oh, <fuck. sighs> that gives credence to it? Someone was trying to shut that thing up. <laughs> Wait, I don't think my microphone works anymore. It knew too much. It, it works. What I do here? It works. No, it works. No, it's a wire. Oh, like, no, oh, I'll plug it in. Oh, Just, oh, Justin's oh, coming in. Don't worry. Fuck. Uh, I got it, Justin. I got it. Get that ass out of here. <laughs> it's unnecessary. <sighs> that was a cheap shot. <laughs> Just trying to help. <laughs> I have a
premonition that Justin's going to eat something really bad today. <laughs> I could be wrong. What did you say? What did you I have a premonition you're going to eat something really unhealthy today. Uh, <laughs> good odds on that one. I saw a squirrel today. What's Kane? Is Kane like the rest of America at this point? <laughs> My God. All this time. Why didn't you do anything about it? <laughs> She's a very nice lady. She comes to all the live shows. We all love Huh? Sure. Every single one. We all like her, no? She's yeah. lovely. Yeah. yeah, she seems very nice. Yeah. She was at almost all the basketball games. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. She did say... Premonition would lose every time. I feel so. <laughs> <laughs> this team's never going to win a game. <laughs> oh, gee, this isn't good. <laughs> What's that? We couldn't track it down, but she did say that this was not the first time she posted about this. She put it on her Facebook page, but we... We scoured and could not find it. So. Who's the FBI on this? What is, she, is she involved well, in this? Even we, if, she, if she put it on her Facebook page, it's still after 9-11 happened. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it wasn't before. Oh, right. That's true. Yeah. No, it was like five years ago. She said. <laughs> hey, good job, Dave. I didn't think of that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it'd be one thing if she, you know, I don't know mailed a letter to somebody right. in like 1996. <laughs> <laughs> Came out on the Drudge Report or something. <laughs> right. So you're saying that she also claimed after 9-11 that she knew 9-11. Is she even saying she knew right. 9-11 was going to happen? She knew something was going. She right. knew something. She didn't know the, the, the magnif magnitude that it would hit. But. So from that moment, I just had a, I, I just, it was in the back of my mind for months. Like every time I thought about my trip, I just felt this like doom. Wait, I thought we were in the shower on 9-11. What's and going I, on here? Where are we? <laughs> Time-wise. I backtracked a little bit for that. Oh, I'm portion. sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know why. And I didn't believe in that shit. And I really, until that, this I don't happened, believe I never in really God. <laughs> <laughs> but I have a sneaking suspicion. <laughs> Understand? <laughs> oh, go ahead. This happened. I never really gave it too much thought. I started to have it so often that I, start, I realized I, I thought I might be going crazy. So this was over like a two week. Pro how long? No, was like this? months, months. I booked months. it in like. April. You went. This was going on for months, and you were ever telling since, people. About ever it. since no, Bin Laden defended, they, they couldn't control him anymore. And after that, I started having these thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> so the you, first was... person I told was my best friend at the time. We were at okay. Cellos in East Providence. I remember the moment. Dave, you write this all down. Yep. Oh, this is case stuff. Go ahead. Cellos in East Providence. <laughs> you know that place in the morning? I don't. Still around? My head. I believe so. Okay. Go ahead came up and I said, this is going to sound crazy, but I am dreading this flight on September 11th for some reason. I do not know why. But, but by the way, let me be very clear about this, though. Like, her flight didn't crash. <laughs> like, like, that'd be like I'd be dreading going to school the day of, like, Sandy Hook. Like, it's tragedy adjacent. Mm. Sure. You know, I'd say it's stolen tragedy valor. Yeah, why did they? Well, she, who, did, who, she did have the itinerary. She was planning initially to go Boston to LA. I mean, Thank this God is like didn't... this is like everybody was at Will Chamberlain's hundred point game. <laughs> like this, is everybody was at Madawaska one. Like this is not. This is you know. She was there though. She was well, maybe she wasn't actually. She was I where? I don't remember at Madawaska one. Yeah, she was telling everybody about nine eleven. I think that day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's like, I saw Mike pounding drinks, and I have a weird premonition. This is gonna go bad. This is not gonna go well. For Guys, you aren't gonna believe this. But... This is not. This is not gonna go well. Go ahead afraid to fly but there's something about it that has me uneasy and she thought i was crazy or she was she was just like really wow that's weird um oh, are you sure maybe you shouldn't go maybe it's just like instinct maybe you shouldn't go but she was nah, like i'm gonna go anyways <laughs> ah fuck it Who cares I'll just do it what is going <laughs> nah i just wanted to let you know I, the plane is definitely gonna crash <laughs> like the, but nothing happened to her flight no no she said she had to uh Stay in Atlanta for a couple of days. Right. Well, sure. Yeah, I understand that. But okay, go ahead. Told my mother, who already has a fear of flying, she took me very seriously. She was like, Well, you can't go. You can't go on this flight. Why would you go on this flight? Because sure. she's already someone who doesn't fly. She has one flight in 80 years, I think. Um, Ever since she so, knew about Pearl I Harbor before. <laughs> <laughs> Hindenburg. I don't know. <laughs> but what? Like, what? Yeah, her mother saw Lou Gehrig play one day in 1936. And he looks weird today. Like, what? Like, why'd she fly then? Eh. How else are you going to get to Atlanta? I think that's true. She just said she's, she's like brushing it off. She's like, I'm having these feelings, but they're not. What, did she, what, what was her reaction? Do we have the sound when she found out that, in fact, her premonition was not right? 
that her flight wasn't going to be in trouble, but actually another flight happened. That moment where you realize you were wrong, but also right. <laughs> Very unusual. Right about, my God, four other flights. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Could you imagine talking to somebody, though, a friend or a relative, and they were like, yeah, I'm supposed to fly out, but I was having these visions, so I just canceled my flight. If Ryan, if like, fucking if, crazy. It's like Ryan called me and said, just shut the, just shut the fuck up. Go, <laughs> go, go, don't go. What do I care? Like, nobody wants to, it's like hearing about your, you know, nobody wants to hear about your flights. It's like hearing about your dreams. It's all, if she told everyone she knew, like, I'd be talking about to this day if I was like some lady in August of September, of, of <laughs> August of 2001, was telling me, like, I don't want to get on my flight on September 11th. That's, that's what she's saying. Like, people she's would saying, still be talking about that. She's saying that people are always still coming up to her, though, in that tweet. <laughs> oh, that's fair. Yeah. yeah, that's a good point. It never stops. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. We have you ever felt like that with another plane ever never. in your life? I've never had, I never have since either. I never have before and never have. I flew a week later. I, well, I flew home, but I also, I got stuck in Atlanta. But fast forward the story. We get grounded. As soon as we land, someone's phone rings. Now, this is before smartphones, but yeah. it was just regular flip phone. Someone answered. His face went white. He was obviously being told by someone on the other end that mm -hmm. plane had hit the World Trade Center. So I'm talking Center. to this kindergarten class. He hangs <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. He hangs up the phone. He immediately tells the whole plane. He just turns and he says, a plane just hit the World Trade Center. And, you know, How does that before happen? We it stood up? He told the whole plane? Yeah. Like he went down the aisles or something? Gang, guess what? No, this is not on the plane, right? Oh, no, I thought it was. No, this is on the plane. It, it is? is on the plane. Yeah. I think, she said I they were grounded. They just grounded. And then he. What's you grab her in the air, though? Like, how are you telling the whole plane something like that? You just say, hey. scream it. Hey, folks. Hope this doesn't cause any panic. Yeah, <laughs> no shit. 9 11 is happening. Jesus. <laughs> 9 11 is happening. <laughs> I had no premonition of it, to, to, to be very clear. But no, go me ahead. neither. Go ahead. You know, it was before we knew it was terrorism or anything. We No yeah, one knew no, if it I was know. just it's like a then. prop plane or whatever. Um, but I just was like, I fucking knew it. because Hell yeah, I, I got it, baby. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Cash that bet. It's like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> what were the Vegas odds for this? <laughs> Imagine being on a plane and somebody oddly enough says, hey, there's been a major attack. Planes are crashing. It says it very loud. Mm. That's weird. The rest of the planes like, that's weird. How much weird is it when somebody else says, yeah, I, I <laughs> knew that was going to happen. I was like, no, I know. I'd be more concerned about the second one than the first one. I, I something, fucking it, knew it. Because <laughs> I mean, congratulations, I guess. I thought it was when I told Dick Cheney and he went on about <laughs> weapons of mass destruction. I didn't know what he was talking about. Jesus but God. sure enough. That's very funny. Anything else from that that's good or no? No, it's the same old stuff. Huh. Yeah. Well, I mean, she always seems like a good sport, I guess. She went on there with Kane, but that is very, very strange. Uh, so a lot has been said about my my grilling skills. Oh. What's so <laughs> Just not expecting it to go to Noah's the going situation there. or the high. Yeah. What, what's, what's so funny about that, Mike? Just, just the way you started it. Like, no one's talking about this. A lot of people said about my grill. There's a lot been said about it? Yes. Okay. You've called me, like, the worst griller ever. Mutt said my hot dogs were atrocious. Okay. I guess uh, that's a lot. Go yeah. ahead. This Sunday, I want to open it up in the parking lot. Oh, I'm on the mood for your bits. Mm. Okay. Go ahead. Go. No. Ahead. no. Go, go. If anyone wants a hot dog. What? They'll come on by. And you'll, Just pitch every fucking employee. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Go ahead, Justin. I'm going to suck the relish out. <laughs> anyway, you're going to cook a hot dog for people at Gillette? Yes. Okay. That's a news story that we're discussing on the show? Okay. Uh, where, where will you be sitting? Uh, where, or rather, where will you guys be grilling? In, uh, across, across the street from Gillette. At the Robin Ford thing? Uh, kind of, it's like in the free. Well, this is really easy for people to find you, Justin. <laughs> well, it's like in, we don't know. You don't you're, know gonna, you're gonna really earn this hot dog. P ten. It's in P ten. P ten. We, we don't be, know. You don't know the exact parking lot. Until you'll be grilling you wieners there. for people at the uh, yes. with with the terrible buns. With the good buns. Where are you getting the buns from? <laughs> uh, BJ's. Same oh, place. Jesus same Christ. place that you had the other buns. Uh, same place. Different buns. Well, okay. we understand that the same buns, Justin. It's three months later. <laughs> yes, different different those, brand? Yes, those were the peppered. peppered oh, so you're, admitting, so you're admitting that was a mistake. Well, I, I don't think it was a mistake, but I'm Boy, that's a bad to... chef right oh, there. If you don't believe in yourself, if I'm... you don't believe. I wouldn't be gone if I was anybody. But I mean, you want to be. If, here's the thing this is, a, this is a good game. Patriots are one in a little bit of life. If you want to spend the entire game puking your fucking guts out, <laughs> then go there. That's that, what I'd say. No? That's what I would say. So you uh, well, what if, what if 100 people are there? You have enough dogs? I'll have, I'll have enough hot dogs. It's just you and Mark. 
Just me and Mark. And maybe, maybe Blind Mike if he wants to come. I'm okay. <laughs> How many are you going to bring? I, Mike, I think it would be the right thing to go. Wouldn't you, like to, wouldn't you like to go and watch Justin cook hot dogs for people on a Sunday? Is that I, your dream? I'm, <laughs> I'm una- unable to. Oh, it's too oh. bad. Nothing better than getting out of Gillette after a game on a Sunday. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. How many are you going to bring? Bring enough. What does that what mean? Does that mean? I'll bring like 100. There's going to be like two people are going to take well, you then up. Well, I don't have a lot of hot dogs left over. <laughs> Hot dogs don't go bad. Well, they do, but take, they, they take months. They Absolutely definitely go, go bad, bad. Justin. Uh, <laughs> boy, what a... <laughs> boy, this is a dream. Like, this is a dream this. scenario. Why don't you just... Why, I would go in with you if you wanted to start your own, like, like hot dog shack or something. I That I would fund. You'd go in with me if I wanted to start, like, just... Well, you say this is what you want. You said you want, like, the shack. Uh, I can I can reach out to the shack to see if I can run it next year. No, not run it. I'm saying... He's if, investing in you. I'm saying I would, if you wanted to buy something like that... Put it this way. Put it this way. Put it this way. If I win Surviving Barstool, part of my money will go to funding that. Wow. If you want to. If you don't want to, it doesn't have to. What would it be called? Just Wait, nobody shit. runs away from us. Don't touch that shit. Don't, <laughs> don't. See how stressed out he is, Cinema? Yeah. He immediately starts just, he goes like, <laughs> Mike, he can't see, but he goes, he goes like this, he goes. <laughs> <laughs> He's almost like clockwise, like moving them. Yeah. Like, oh. like, like programming them or something. Oh, I don't like that. Yeah. <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to do it, but you said it was your dream. Oh. It, it, is. it is. I was just saying with this money, I'll help you fund your dream. That would be fantastic. It doesn't sound like you want to do it. I would absolutely do it. Does it sound like that to you, Dave? No, it didn't. It didn't. I, I would absolutely. Would I have to leave this job? No, oh. I'm just saying. Like, this is morning, so you're, you're gonna have a. It's basically a food truck. <laughs> this is morning. This afternoon. Yeah. yeah. Justin food, food truck <laughs> would be pretty sick. Yeah. Justin food truck's a good name. Ooh. The irony of Justin, me, funding like twenty nine thousand dollars for Justin <laughs> to have a food truck, <laughs> is a great full circle that investment. Is, that is nice. <laughs> that is. Yeah. The first day would have to be in Madawaska. We'd have to do it there. The yep. logo could be Justin's uh, husky. The dog? Ooh. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I like it. I like that. That is true. This dog that wasn't a part of the show. Justin's <laughs> food truck. Is that is he the Husky dead? He's on his back right now. No, he's chilling. Okay. Oh, good. He's just taking <laughs> he's, he's not dead. He's what, would, what would the... Well, give, me, give me an idea what the shack is like. So I'm, I'm investing 50K in I this. think a food truck would be better. Okay, food truck. Fine. That's food a good truck. Idea. So it would be kind of... Is 50K so enough cinema? I don't even know. Probably food truck? Just, just so. to, to fund it? No, probably not, right? Probably for the, for the, the equipment. truck's got a lot of equipment, equipment in it. Yeah. yeah. How much do you think, Dave? You're, you're a business guy. I'd probably say... Uh, you, you could probably get a shitty truck. Plus, uh, I'll say 100K. 100K. That's K. what I was going to say. I was going to say double right. it. $100,000, okay. really? For the I get my money back on this? Why you match the Minifans? We'll make it a GoFundMe. No, I'm okay doing it, but am I getting my money back, Justin? I hope so. I know you do, but like... can't promise you. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> you have to sell a lot of hot dogs. Hundred hundred thousand dollars. Where would you put the truck? I would go around to different places. No, oh, where would, would you keep it? Like no, I guess like what's a day? Like would you go to different offices or? Yeah, I'd reach. It wouldn't be like a dedicated location where people would say, "Oh, this is a great." I food think on truck. Sundays it should be a dedicated location, and I would do wings, like a takeout wing place, because there's no really great wing place around here. Interesting. Around here specifically. Yes, around in Massachusetts. How do you know? In that? Massachusetts, the there's not a great you know wing. Place? They said the Hooters is a great wing place. Hooters is Hooters is great. And how are you going to well, be the so one to make just, the great wings? You just <laughs> said there's a good, not a great wing place. I make and, great wings. Oh, okay. But you just said there's not a great wing place, and you said there is a great wing place. There's not a wing place that is up to local. Buffalo standards. Oh, uh, oh, your place. Oh, it's all about his Buffalo. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't you Why don't you strike a deal with them and sell those wings here? That would probably be what I would do. I'd reach out to. Couple places out there that I really like. What's the place you went to like twelve times with Mike and Mick? I went to Wing Nuts. It's a uh, shame I have no one to joke about with that, with that anymore. I know. <laughs> me and Mick. It's true. <laughs> the laughs me and Mick could have. Had. It is true. <laughs> this is horrible, horrible divorce with you guys. <laughs> it's just an uh, just ugliness. Ugly. Of, yeah. So we're back. What next week? Mm-hmm. Right, Justin. Anything else from you? Nope. No. Mike, good to see you. BlindMike.net. BlindMike Project. Go subscribe right now. Thank you. Go uh, listen to Sin Lord stuff as well. Thanks for. We'll see you soon. I'm sure. Uh, unnamed coming up in a couple minutes, and uh, we'll talk to you. We'll talk to you next week. Goodbye.